Hundreds of OSU medical students were cloaked with their white coats today, which marks the students' entry into medical school. Two News Oklahoma reporter Jeanette Cazada talked with one medical student about his journey reaching this milestone. That's right, Vincent. This morning marked the start of a new chapter for hundreds of future doctors. This as doctors across the country battle the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Future doctor Andrew Cook tells me he walked the stage today while his own mother battles COVID coronavirus at home. But he tells me even though his parents weren't there, someone else very special was. If it's your calling, it's your calling. Andrew Cook has always followed his calling to serve people through health care. When he was 10 years old, he decided he wanted to become a doctor. And ever since, he's been working towards that goal. Walking across that stage and getting that coat was, it was, it was just a very surreal moment. But the journey has not been easy. When he was five years old, he was diagnosed with ADHD, which made focusing very difficult. Finding the right treatment took years, but he credits his parents for doing the research and helping him along the way. But they couldn't be at his white coat ceremony because his mother has COVID-19. So Cook reached out to his kindergarten teacher, Miss Lawson, to extend an invitation. So I sent her a quick DM on Instagram because I didn't have her number and said, hey, don't feel obligated because I know you're you know, four hours away, but I've got an extra ticket if you want to come. Although they hadn't seen each other in 19 years, she accepted. He reached out and told me that, you know, he asked me to come. I couldn't say no. Today, Cook was among hundreds of OSU medical students who were cloaked with their white coat. And Miss Lawson was there, honored to see her former student reach another milestone. I cried all day watching, you know, um, getting to witness this because it's just it's such an accomplishment and I'm so proud of him. And although Cook's parents couldn't be there in person, he tells me they watched him on a live stream. Yeah, that is so great to hear. All right, Jeanette, thank you.